Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to talk about how to add a before and after image slider to your Squarespace website. So this is actually a plugin that was created by Zurb.com called 2020, um, which was then modified by um, Anthony Kramer to use within Squarespace. Um, so this isn't my uh, original code, it, it's somebody else's code. I'm just showing you how to implement the plugin into your Squarespace site. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure you have a before and after image to use for your image slider. Make sure that they are named something relevant to your site, maybe throw in a couple keywords if you can, um, and also double check the size. So here I have mine um, 1500 pixels wide. Essentially you just want them to be under 500 kilobytes in size or else it could slow down your site and damage your SEO. Okay, so make sure you have two images ready before we go, labeled uh, something relevant and of proper size. Okay, so once that you have those, we're actually going to use a stacked image gallery block in Squarespace to create this. So it has an overlay when you hover over, it says before and after, and you can grab and drag the slider to show your before and after images. So the first thing you need to do, step one, is to download the files. So click on download and you'll want to open up um, the zip file and make sure you save it somewhere that you will remember. So I'm saving some, it right on my desktop so I remember where it is. And then we're going to actually upload your files to your website and then we have some code we're going to need to input so your website knows to use those files. Okay, So go to your website, click on the page that you would like the slider to be put on. So I just have a blank page here labeled sliders. I'm going to click edit. Okay, And we're going to input our pictures. So click here. We're going to use a stacked gallery, not a stacked image layout. Make sure you go to gallery so you can add more than one photo. So gallery, stack, upload, and upload those two images that you had prepared. Make sure that they are in the order of after, before. If after you figure out that you want them in a different order, all you have to do is open this up and drag them into the correct order. So it's not a big deal if you don't have them in the right order right away. Go to design. I like to turn off the title and description there and then click apply. Okay, so there's your two images. Right now they're just gonna be stacked on top of each other. Now we need to add those files we downloaded to our site. So we're going to click here and actually add a text block. Just type in some random letters and numbers, highlight them, and push link. And what that does is it actually accesses your media folder. Um, we have to kind of have a little bit of a roundabout to get to it on Squarespace. But again, what you do is you add, click here, you add a text block, type in some, some random uh, letters, highlight, link. Okay. We're going to click on files and we're going to add those files that we downloaded. So add file. Here is the folder that I downloaded. And it should have four files in it. We're going to upload each one. First we have to do them one at a time. So click open, OK, add file, open, OK. Once you have all four files added. You're going to push add link and then you can actually just delete this block. 
and you don't need it on there, we now have those files on our site. So step one, we downloaded. Step two, added our images and added our files to our media folder. Click Save. Our next step is to put some code into our site so that it knows when a stacked, when you use a stacked gallery to actually make it into a slider. Okay, so we're going to go back to home, go to settings, scroll down to advanced, and code injection. Okay. Underneath the video here, I have some code for you to use. So just copy, and this is what you're going to put in your header. And then copy the second section and put it into the footer. And you'll see that your stack gallery now is the image slider. So it has an overlay. When you hover over top, it has these before after labels that come up. And when you click, it will scroll. Again, if you notice that your images are on the wrong side, all you have to do is click edit, edit the gallery, and drag the picture to the correct side. Okay. And there you have an image slider. There is a couple options for you to customize this gallery. So if you do not want this overlay, so you don't want the labels before and after, you don't want it to darken, then what you're going to do is go back to design, down to custom CSS, okay? and in here you're going to paste the following code. save and that will hide the overlays. You'll notice it doesn't have those labels but you can still move the image slider. Um, it just takes away the darken when you hover over top and the before and after labels. So if you want to remove those that is the code you use. If you want to change these so that the images stack on top of each other rather than beside each other, and you want this to be horizontally across the screen, then you're going to use the following code instead of what we used in our footer before. So we're gonna copy this code, go back to settings, advanced, code injection, and we're going to replace what we have in our footer with the new code. And that just adds this extra text here. You want the orientation vertical. Okay, click Save. And now you'll notice that my before and afters are on top of each other rather than beside each other. Another option is if you want this slider to not start halfway through. So maybe I want the slider to start up here or down here, um, then you're going to use the following code. Go back to code injection and replace the footer again. Click save. And you'll notice now I have them beside each other again, and my slider is starting part way across, not halfway across. Okay. You can play with this number. Um, 0 0.2 means 20% of the way across. So if I want it maybe 70% of the way across, I can change it to 0 0.7 and save. 
and that will start the slider there. Um, so 0 0.5 is halfway through, and then you can just kind of play with that number to place the slider where you want it to start with. If you want them to be on top of each other and you want the slider to start somewhere else, then I've included that code as well. Again, go to your code injection, to your footer, replace that code, and it just sort of combines those together. So now the orientation is vertical and it's offset. And again, you play with that number um, however you like. You notice it's now on top of each other and my arrows have started up here. And that is how you add an image slider to your Squarespace website.